Have you ever dreamed of having an out-of-this-world job or at least work for a space agency? Well, here's your chance. More than 20 positions are available at the Philippine Space Agency. The FILSA is a government body formed last year. Its goal is to make the Philippines a space-capable and space-faring nation within the next decade. Now, I'd like to welcome on New Day FILSA Director General Joel Joseph Marciano Jr. Good morning, Joseph. Good morning, Paolo. Nice to be here. Thank you for having me. All right. Now, you know, I want to jump straight into it and talk about the positions available at Philsa. I think that's very exciting stuff. But perhaps an overview. What exactly uh, are the goals of Philsa from this point? Well, it's really about um, benefiting from space, science, technology, and applications mm -hmm. uh, for our country. It's about promoting the benefits of what we call upstream and downstream space. Okay. No? That means um, the infrastructure that is currently available in space through satellites and their data and services. And in the downstream, that means taking advantage of the services and information that we can get from this infrastructure okay. uh, for policy uh, making and for uh, more responsive programs. Okay, that said, let's talk about those positions. I mean, I think uh, knee-jerk reaction when you, when you talk about a space agency is people are going to think, oh, can I apply to be an astronaut? <laughs> can I apply to be a rocket scientist? Mm -hmm. What kind of positions are there? It takes, it takes quite a number of people in the background to make a, a space program work. What are these positions that, were, uh, uh, that are open to applications? Okay, well, we, we, are, we are not yet done. Um, I mean, the, the job positions that you have seen posted uh, in, on Facebook and in the Civil Service Commission website and on Job Street as well, uh, they are all administrative positions mostly. Uh, they're mostly administrative positions. Um, that means really we have to pave the way for the engineers, scientists, and the technical team to come in. Yeah. So we need this kind of people and these teams to be present you know, to set up shop, sure. uh, essentially. Right. So, uh, of course, we, we will be getting engineers and scientists that's coming up soon. So I, I would advise everyone who is very keenly following these developments to watch out for subsequent posts. Um, so uh, maybe I can say we'll be hiring more than 100 engineers and scientists. Exciting and, stuff. Yeah. All right, we've got a couple of, uh, I, I believe, three uh, small-scale satellites up uh, in space, and we're generally sort of, you know, making our baby steps. You know, this is, uh, after all, uh, an official agency or space agency that has been set up, um, you know, for, for, for less than a year or, or close to a year. Let's talk about um, last November 19. The Philsa participated for the first time at the Asia-Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum, and you guys highlighted the gains uh, of the programs of Philsa. Tell us a little bit about how that went. Well, yes, uh, the APRSAF, the Asia-Pacific Regional Space Agency Forum, is organized yearly. We hosted it actually in 2016 in, in Manila, in the Philippines. So this is a regional group organized, uh, spearheaded by the Japanese Aerospace Exploration Agency or their space agency. So in that meeting, we discussed various issues on space uh, technology, space uh, environment utilization, uh, space applications, and space education and policy. So this year, uh, they have a uh, lim limited format because of the pandemic. So everything was done online. And there was a head of agency session. And we participated in that. And we articulated the plans and programs, uh, aspirations and ideals of the Philippines as far as space is concerned. And so we were very honored to be part of it for the first time as the FILSA. Okay. Joel, let's talk about uh, what are the technologies that we have right now to support the country's space program. I mentioned it earlier. Um, you know, we've got small-scale satellites uh, up in space, the Wata-1 and the Wata-2, Maya-1, I believe. Um, you know, how do we get these satellites, if, if we're not launching rockets up into space, how do we get these satellites up there? And, you know, how, do, um, how does the information that we gather using these satellites benefit us? Okay. Well, yes, you pointed out an important uh, component of this, of, of, of space technology. You know, this, this infrastructure that needs to accompany uh, satellites. So first of all, rockets. Uh, we rely currently on partners abroad to launch our satellites for us. So in Diwata 1, Diwata 2, and so with Maya 1, our previous satellites, we relied on our partners in Japan uh, to do it for us um, because obviously they can launch rockets. And, uh, and as for when, when these satellites are already in orbit, we need to communicate with them. And that part, we, we have that infrastructure in our country. We have ground receiving stations that track these satellites. We have two of them already, one in Quezon City, here in UP Diliman. The other one is in Davao, near the Davao International Airport. And there's a third one coming up in Dumangas, Iloilo. 
So we have uh, three stations currently that can communicate with our satellites. They can upload commands, they can download data, and uh, monitor them and track their status. So we call that facility PEDRO, uh, Philippine Earth Data Resource Observation Center. It's currently being run by my former agency, Advanced Science and Technology Institute of the DOST, and soon it will be turned over to the PILSA. All right, very exciting stuff. So obviously, we're still in the infancy of our space program. And like you said, there is a lot of uh, administrative sort of uh, back-end positions that need to be filled so that we can start bringing in those engineers, start bringing in um, you know, scientists, and really start to move forward with our space yeah. program. I want to say thank you to Philsa Director General Joel Joseph Marciano, Jr. Thank you for being with us on New Day this morning.